Coach Heath's coming at you. Today we're working on quick play the ball, finding your front and just getting your team on the front foot. Today helping me out, out here on the North Ipswich Reserve, I got Jets player Richard Pandia. Here we are today uh, with Richie Candia. How you doing, brother? How you, bro? Yeah, played for the Jet. Kenji Kumul rep. He's gonna help us out today with some training. Oh, shit, man. That's the famous man. Let's watch your video. <laughs> now, here, we're looking at three defenders. Now, you want to run to spaces, not faces. That's where the first step to getting a quick play of the ball comes from. Before you even come into contact. Initially, I'll run to the man, so the man or the woman is the marker, and then last minute change into the space. This will allow me to find my front easier as I'll make a little half break, stick my nose through, get to my hands and knees on the ground, and then make my way for a quick play of the ball. Now let's take a look at Richie taking a scoot, finding the space and finding his front. 32, 20 against the Townsville Blackhawks at Suncorp Stadium last Sunday. In one of its now notice how he puts his footwork on just before he approaches the line as he's coming into contact, finds the space, sneaks his nose through, continues to drive, staying low, and eventually finds his front, getting his elbows and knees to the ground, which he's able to get up and make a play ball. Quick play the ball. If you can leave markers on the ground and you get to play the ball before them, the next the next play that happens, you've got a smart dummy half, will be a lot quicker. It can lead to a try. Here's a break made by Cameron Murray. He ran off a beautiful pass. He's inside 20. Shows it then to Johnston. Goes himself. And Cameron Murray goes under the bar to score at the northern end. That's what happens when you don't have a marker and Damien Cook just looks up and with his speed, he was able to help create that gap. Now that you've found your front, you want to be able to pop up and play the ball as quick as you can. Now, Richie will show us the most effective technique for this. Now, he likes to keep a strong core, strong legs and upper body to do this well. Now, you can see here Richie come into contact, wrestle to find his front, and then comes up to one knee. Then he'll swivel his hips and push through his opposite knee. This will put the defender on the top of him off balance. You can also throw that elbow to really throw them off. This is by far the most effective technique to getting a quick play of the ball and to getting rid of the player on top of you. Here it is from a couple different angles. You should be able to feel that the opponent's weight is a little bit off to one side so you should be able to judge which side you throw them off on. You kind of have to sum up a situation if you you know you're not going to get past you kind of just have to take the second second best option which would be to get a quick play the ball so just getting good approach to contact and finding your front is the best thing that you can do. So the quick play of the ball comes from before you even come into contact, so you approach to contact, so you've got to shorten your steps, bump off, get your bumpers up, hold onto the ball, bumpers, get some distance, 
Find your front, hands and knees. Straight behind this Tom team. So Marcus, Go two. I think it's a good 10 point win in it. Okay. For Fita. Much better last week against Samoa. Good quick play to ball. Katoa. Split his time with the Panthers in our team and the Panthers New South Wales captain. Fafita conceded there's nothing much else on here, so he comes into contact hard and deliberately, has his bumpers up, gets some space between the defenders, pushes them off, then is easily able to find his front, straight down and up, and then he's up for a quick play of the ball. Notice the retreating defenders still going back. As he's about to get to his feet, and the hooker's able to jump straight out while the markers are still turning. Defender's still getting up. And hooker jumps straight out. The next play rolling through. Good example. Here's a couple of other body positions you can use to speed up the play the ball. If you're in these positions and they pull you back down, it's a penalty for your team. So they're effective in that way. However, the opposition will get to marker before you're able to play it, in most cases. Getting a quick play the ball will ultimately allow your team to get a good roll on because it may just leave one marker on the floor, on the ground, while you're playing the ball and their defenders are still retreating back, which in turn will allow your dummy half to play quickly and take advantage of any holes. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, forward. Thank you, Richie Pandia, for helping us out with this video. Everyone else, get down there and practice your quick play the balls, and I'll leave you with a bit more advice from the man himself. Take it easy. Yeah. Oh, it's just not me, it's just everyone in the teammates just work together, you know, so I share the workloads, everyone putting their hands up, doing their stuff, so if everyone works together then everything goes well and then probably win the game, so yeah.